In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, is WGU worth it? And we're going to be covering some basic things you should consider if you're looking to start a bachelor's program at WGU. We're going to be covering things such as the quality of education, the curriculum, the cost, the time, flexibility, benefits, and other things you should consider if you're looking to start your bachelor's program at WGU. What is up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity. Once again, in this video, we're gonna be answering the question, is WG worth it? Um, and we're gonna be covering things from the quality of the education to benefits and everything you should consider if you're looking to pursue a bachelor's program at WGU. Just a brief background on myself, I have been at WGU for the last six months. I started my bachelor's program in network operations and security in July of 2021, and I completed my first term in December of 2021. It's currently January 2022. Um, and I just did a video recently about my experience with the first term. So if you've not watched it, please be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description below, as well as probably a card somewhere up here or up here. Actually, I'll leave a card to it somewhere up here. But definitely check out that video. It goes in depth into my experience in my first term and other videos I have on my WGU playlist covering different classes I've taken at WGU. So with that said, let's just dive right into today's video. Uh, we're going to start first of all with the quality of education kind of analyzing um, what really uh, gives education you know quality um, in terms of like getting the best out of what you're studying so in terms of like quality of education I can very much say that WGU's quality of education is definitely really really good the value you get for your education is definitely really amazing um, depending on whatever degree program you're doing uh, there's a lot of applicability to what you're going to be doing in the real world um, and also there's a lot of relevance for what you're going to be doing in the real world compared to many other like brick and mortar colleges where um, the quality of education or the education system is kind of just grade based uh, where we're just you know trying to just get an A or a B to get to the class but this is more competency based and the way the classes are designed and the courses are designed they're designed to pretty much give you the skills the knowledge the certifications that you need to be a a full working and qualified professional in your respective field so in terms of quality of education wgu definitely checks the box next thing we want to cover is the curriculum so um, in order for us to really cover the curriculum in depth we're going to have to look at the curriculums of the different programs so let me switch my screen right here so we can actually look into the programs um and i'm specifically going to be talking more about the it programs because that's what i know more about um and we're going to be looking at maybe a couple of those um programs and just kind of looking at the curriculums and what they offer and the uh, the actual applicability of the curriculum curriculum so let me actually duplicate this screen because i'll be coming back to this and let's go to online degrees and we'll look at the it uh, area of study and we're going to be looking at bachelors specifically um so we have a bunch of bachelors program from software development all the way down to data management and data analytics um so let's kind of take let's take some generic ones computer science of course um let's see computer science uh more details let's open in a new tab and we'll look at cybersecurity. that's also a big one we'll look at cloud computing and we'll also look at uh, network operations and security i think those, are, those ones cover quite a wide area of things so let's look at the so overview going over this so definitely check out this web page if you want to find out more information but let's go into the courses and competencies because that's what the curriculum really covers. So for a computer science program, right, we're going to be covering uh, business of IT. Actually, not we. Uh, WG is going to cover business of IT, um, giving you an introduction to business of IT, um, IT fundamentals, your, your general education for sure. You know, your math, your English, your statistics, all of that fun stuff. Um, then web development um network and security scripting and programming general science content so like your science classes uh computer science stuff so data structures and algorithm which is pretty standard in most computer science programs um universally um introduction to artificial intelligence all of that fun stuff and then software as well so you're going to be learning about software this is java software engineering software quality assurance all of that fun stuff uh, data management as well secure systems and analysis and design operating systems technical writing and in my opinion if you compare this to any typical computer science program out there this is pretty standard this is pretty much what you would expect in a computer science program let's move forward to a cybersecurity program um i don't um wg is actually uh, has been designated as a national center of academic excellence in cyber defense 
through the academic year 2026. So this is definitely a big deal. If you are looking to take any cybersecurity degrees, you should be looking at universities that are designated a National Center of Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense. Another one is like UTSA. So WGU being able to have this badge as a National Center of Academic Excellence for cybersecurity is definitely a good indication of the quality of the cybersecurity degree. So definitely highly recommend you check it out for sure. So let's go into the courses and competencies to look at what the uh, WGU uh, cybersecurity program covers, uh, starting with secure systems and analysis and design. Uh, I'm just going to be going to quickly running over these just to kind of give you a high level overview. If you want more details, definitely um, go into the uh, into the website and then read more about these different areas. Uh, we also have IT fundamentals. Definitely you need to get your IT fundamentals if you're trying to get into cybersecurity. Um, of course, general education, just like every secure every degree program, uh, business of IT web development, uh, network and security, uh, secret description and programming, information assurance, data management, digital forensics and incident response, technical writing, ethics and cyber law, web and cloud security, wireless and mobile technologies, risk management, hacking and countermeasures, capstone penetration testing. So this thing just pretty much covers the whole nine of cybersecurity. Uh, it's obviously really, really broad, but it covers a lot of topics and a lot of domains in cybersecurity, giving you that really, really broad um, perspective and broad um, range of classes that are going to be covered in your cybersecurity program. So that's another, you know, further to WGU's ha hats in terms of like having that cybersecurity um uh, excellence uh, or, or or having that solid cybersecurity program um, um, in addition to the certifications that they provide with the program as well. So definitely solid with the curriculum with, in terms of cybersecurity. Uh, now looking at the cloud computing program, which is what I'm currently majoring in, even though I'm on a term break, um, I'll, be doing a, I'll be doing a more in-depth video on the cloud computing program um, and why I definitely, why I changed from network operations to cloud computing. But let's look at co the courses and competencies to look at w what it covers. So of course your IT fundamentals, your, your IT fundamentals are universal across pretty much all of like the IT degrees, uh, general education, pretty much universal, web development, also universal, network and security, universal, business of IT is also universal, general science content as well, operating systems, you definitely have to understand operating systems, specifically Linux, because that's what majority of the cloud is built on. Definitely got to understand your program and if you're going to be doing the cloud, so your scripting automation, uh, Python, and a bunch of other things. Cloud and virtualization. So this goes deep into desktop virtualization, data center virtualization, cloud platform solutions, cloud architecture, all of that fun stuff, technical writing, data management, information assurance, software engineering, cloud technologies, and then of course, a final capstone. So this pretty much covers the whole nine of cloud computing. Of course, it's also really certification heavy, but it's in terms of curriculum, it definitely checks the box in terms of cloud computing. So moving on to the final one we're going to be looking at today, the network uh, operations and security program, uh, which I was majoring in for my first term. And if we look at the network operations and security program, it definitely has all of those universal aspects as well. Your general, general education, IT fundamentals, scripting and programming, network and security, all of that stuff um, has some leadership as well business of IT, operating systems, and it covers all of these topics. And if you compare this to any general or any other type of university covering any of these particular majors, this is pretty standard. And you might even see things that you might not see in a typical brick and mortar school or in your everyday you know, university or college. So WGU definitely checks the blocks in terms of having solid curriculums for their different degree programs. So that definitely adds a further to the cap in terms of WGU being worth it. Moving forward, we want to look at the cost, the cost of WGU. So WGU um, is usually um, priced, I would say, the tuition is usually priced per term. So for each term, uh, you have six months in each term, and in each term, you have the ability and the opportunity to be able to take uh, multiple classes in this term, as many classes as you're able to complete in the term. Um, so as long as you are able to successfully pass a class, you can move move on to the next class. That's a really great thing about WGU, which also is a key thing with it in terms of flexibility. So, in terms of the cost, WGU is um, the average uh, yearly bachelor's tuition is twelve thousand seven hundred five nationally, but for WGU it's seven thousand two ninety. So pretty much, if you're saying if we say a year is two terms, so you're pretty much paying about. $3,645,000 per term, which is like, which is an average across like multiple, all the um, 
different degrees. So a little over 4,000 for six months. And in that six months, you can take as many classes as you are successfully able to complete. So that's definitely very, very cost effective. If you're someone who is who goes at, at things at a very fast pace, you stand to save a lot of money compared to having to know that you have a fixed four year term for normal brick and mortar college. All right. So in terms of cost, definitely really affordable for the quality of education that you're getting from the WGU University. Now, moving forward in terms of time. So um, in uh, like the, the way WGU is designed, it's it has the 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 way WGU is designed makes it possible in such a way that you are able to take as many classes as you want per term and then um that helps you to pretty much accelerate your program rather than the normal like four year fixed rate of or or two year depending on if you're in a associate's program or a bachelor's program so the fact that you're able to kind of like move at the pace that you want definitely can help you finish in in a really fast period of time if you're the kind of person that really goes fast at things so the fact that you, you can be able to you know ex you can be able to complete something um as fast or as slow as you want to in regards to time is definitely really 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 great because like that way you're not really constricted or you're not siloed into a specific fixed term or fixed period of time for your college, college education so in terms of time Definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. Moving forward, we, we're going to be talking about the flexibility. So in terms of flexibility, WG is really flexible. So there's no homework, there's no assignments, there's no um, tests, all of that stuff. There's only uh, tasks, tasks and um, uh, assessments. So tasks are, uh, for a class, you could have multiple tasks, uh, which really, usually, I think the max amount of tasks I've seen so far is three tasks. And... After you complete those three tasks, you have pretty much completed the, t the class. So the fact that you're able to have like really, really um, short, well, not short, but really, really concise assessments to gauge your understanding of the topic and concepts being taught in the, in the classes makes it really, really flexible because you don't have to always worry about meeting a deadline for a homework or assignment or for a project or something like that. Um, in terms of like certifications, you can t you can schedule and book your certifications at any time. In terms of like also taking a term break, um, so I knew that I was going to be really busy this start of the year, so I was able to take a term break for two months, and I can start back um, in March when I'm ready to continue. And otherwise, if I was in a normal brick and mortar four year or two year institution, I cannot take a term break. I cannot start my program. If it's not going to be in summer or fall or in winter or one of those terms but pretty much with wgu you can pretty much start like at almost any time as long as you have your documentation all settled so it's really really flexible and that flexibility is definitely great for someone like me who has um is who is involved in so many things because i'm able to kind of really be uh, uh flexible enough to design my education in any way that I truly want. So definitely text the box in terms of flexibility. And then um, another thing I want to talk about was like the benefits. So especially if you're in like the IT field, um, you know how much learning is like a really huge thing. So WGU gives you access to Udemy business for free. Uh, you also get access to Pluralsight for free. You get access to LinkedIn learning for free. Uh, you get access to a large library of books, a really large library of books. Um, there's also like, um, uh, there's also the AWS Academy you get access to, um, I believe, if you're taking like uh, cloud um, related certifications in your in your certification program or in your degree program. Um, you also have program mentors. Program mentors are people who uh, kind of, you know, ensure that you are staying up to task. You are uh, you are you are on task with your education. And I think program program mentors could be either hit or miss. Personally, I had a really great program mentor in my first term. Um, it was really great because it was always, you know, checking on me. We agreed to um, communicate once a week. So every week would um, would uh, cover different things. If I'm struggling with something, he would kind of uh, give me like a guideline on how to go through it or who to reach out to, or maybe how to break something into smaller tasks so that it's much easier to complete. So um, I definitely had a great program mentor. And then I think a program mentor can either you know make or mar your college education so um i think a great program mentor is definitely great because they continue to to push you to support you and help you really really um get through with your program because it's not an easy program um you know it's mentally tasking because you have to pretty much do it on your own um there's definitely support but it's largely a 
independent journey um you don't have to do it on your own there's definitely support but it's largely an independent journey and um having someone who is always there to kind of check up on you and guide you and help you um is definitely really great and was definitely great for me so um those were all of the things i wanted to cover in terms of like uh the benefits of wgu and all the things that you should consider if you're trying to get into wgu um in in general i think all of these things i've covered definitely definitely highlight the fact that wgu is definitely worth it for your college education especially if you're in the it field if you really want to get a valuable bachelor's degree in it cybersecurity, network operations cloud computing i think wgu is quite the way to go um i've had a great experience there and i'm definitely looking forward to my second term once i'm ready to start back on so that's it for today's video I hope this video was convincing enough to let you know that WGU is worth it. It's worth your time, your energy. This video is not sponsored by WGU in any way. This is just my own way of just kind of sharing the knowledge out there and sharing my experience so that anyone who wants to get into WGU has enough information that's going to help them in making their decision. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button and be sure to subscribe. If not, subscribe and also be sure to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.